All right, YouTube, Trizit back again for another episode of DSP. Um, just recently, there was a new update. Um, yeah, some basic stuff to make the logistics vessels faster, some better English translations, that's handy. Uh, hydrogen fuel rods, which we completely skipped over, are better, which is kind of cool, but again, we skipped them. Um, I think that happens a lot, <laughs> honestly. Um, we haven't run into this with um, logistics specials consuming more power. That's no big deal. But this is cool. We can now rename our planets. Um, so give us some ideas. Put in the comments what you'd like to see some planets named. Um, maybe uh, if we hit, say, um, let, let's set a conservative request. Let's say, uh, let's, let's go with 10 likes. If we get 10 likes on this video, I will pick a random comment um, and uh, we will make that person's name uh, the name of one of our home planets. Just just for fun. So put in a comment what you'd like to see. And if you don't, uh, if you just want it to be your screen name on YouTube, that's fine, too. Uh, Noir, don't attack the status bar. On my other monitor, I've got a uh, G-parted status bar. I'm resizing a partition on a mail server. And um, my cat has decided that the status bar is the most interesting thing in the world. Um, she always has to get involved in the videos. You know what? This is too cute. We'll get another, uh, another cat picture in the video. Why not? Um... Now she's really attacking it. <laughs> this is too cute. She had uh, both paws and her mouth up on the monitor trying to get it. I don't mind so much. It's a uh, kind of a crappy, kind of a mostly dead monitor. Um, it's probably, well, it's probably older than half the audience for the Fortnite videos. Um, so last time we left off, we were uh, we just finished all the strange matter, and um, we were about to do fractionators. So let's look at what kind of real estate we need for fractionators. That I know is going to have to go because we're going to be looping this all the way around. So um, fractionators. So. I think what we'll do is we'll put these as close as we can there. And uh, maybe we'll start them there so we can start it. Uh, yeah, we'll start them there. That'll be fine. Um, then we need a belt running down the middle. Uh, nope, too close. Okay, belt down the middle there. And that'll allow us to go output to that belt. And then spin it around and drop another one there. Now, can we get two rows? I'm really hoping we can get two rows. Come on, two rows. Ugh. We crossed a fault line. Heh. <laughs> Never cross the fault line. It's okay, let's... You know what? Let's just see what happens with the belts with these when we cross the fault line. Okay. Well, they work. Groovy. We'll do that. We'll do two sets. Uh, can I? Ooh, wait. Power poles. We need power poles for this, too. Um, where can we fit power poles? Can we fit them there? Oh, we can. We're, we're golden. What about these ones? They should get power from the one above it anyway, so it shouldn't be a bit. Oh, wait, no, we can't put it right between. But we can put it there. Yeah, we'll be able to put them there. Well, that won't light up those ones, though. It'd be nice if the power area from these plants was just a bit bigger, but we'll be okay. We can do that. We can put it between the power plants. We're good. Okay. So, 
let's get our starting belt all the way around. Um, yeah, come on. And I'm just going to go all the way around. I don't know if we're going to overload the belt or not. If we do, we'll split it, but I'm just going to see if we can go all the way around the planet, because I think that'd be cool. I just think it'd be neat. And when I think it's neat, I do it. Because it's only a game. And then to there. And then that will go down. Cool. Okay. And then this one, we will bring that around. And come on. got to admit, with the number of these we're about to put in, I kind of wish that we could run the uh, uh, run inserters rather than belts straight into the uh, to the units because ugh. Um, it's going to take a lot of drawing belts between each one. <laughs> it really is. Okay. So, drop that there. Um, we'll do that. Because unfortunately there is no way to copy and paste the belts like you can with the inserters with the mod. Um, I guess that's where the blueprinting that the devs are talking about might come into factor. So you could say, you know, drop this array onto any planet once you built it once. Um, or maybe you can say, okay, you know, give me these three and then repeat it again and again and again. I don't know. We'll see what the devs come up with. It may be difficulty getting the hydrogen into that, but we'll see. If not, I'll pull one back out. Um, no, 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 no. Let's copy the correct orientation, shall we? <laughs> and bring it in as tight to the belt as we can. <clears throat> um, and, uh, yeah. I kind of can't wait to see that come in. It'd be kind of cool. Um, Right now, these mods are wonderful, but they're not, they're not the be-all and end-all, you know what I mean? This is a lot of fractionators. I don't even know what the power implications of this are. I suspect it's a lot. <laughs> but that's okay. We're uh, we're probably burning deuterium fuel cells at a prodigious rate, though, right now. Uh, between this and the uh, the the forge world, <laughs> it's uh, it's probably pretty serious. Um. <clears throat> I wish there was a way to, you know, quickly and easily check your deuterium fuel rods per second, like usage. Um, that's one thing that we have not made at an industrial scale. We, you know, we bumped up the amount we could make on the home world a little bit, but not crazy amounts. Um, because I'm hoping once we go interstellar and we just do some interstellar mining and stuff, um, we'll be able to start you know, we'll be comfortable enough on resources that we can start working on the Dyson Sphere. Um, get some solar sails up, and then we can start working on, 
you know, solar collectors and stuff like that. Okay, that is a lot of fractionators. Now for a ton of belts. Um, I think for this part I'm going to just fast forward it, because honestly if I try to talk for that long um, and try to make it entertaining, uh, <clears throat> for one thing I'm going to run out of things to talk about, for another thing I'm going to lose my voice, and for, and for a third you'll probably be bored. So, we'll see in a few, but uh, you'll get to watch this at uh, about a thousand times fast forward. Which is better than me.
right, we're back. So that was uh, that was a bit of a thing. Um, that took uh, about 45 minutes or so to do. Um, but we have holy fractionators, Batman. Okay, so before we fire this up and make a complete mess, what is our power grid at? We're at uh, 94. Okay. Um, and it appears that we have enough deuterium anyway, but let's just burn up some more hydrogen because we can. So we just need to grab this belt here, put the filter on it, and away we go. Now this will prioritize hydrogen coming in from the other belts. So this is just a top up. And they're lighting up. Around we go. Oh, and we're getting some deuterium out of it already. Still picking up hydrogen. But basically the hydrogen keeps going through these and they have a 1% chance to actually make deuterium out of it. So with this many, and I don't know how many this is. It's a lot. <laughs> it, uh, I don't know. It's a ton. Um, with this many, uh, it will <clears throat> probably be making deuterium fairly constantly. Um, yeah, it's already backed up from the tower to here. Um, so these will feed the tower rather than having it try to go and get them from somewhere else. Um, I should probably, you know, I should probably do this. I should probably take a belt and take a load out of here. Put that back on the ground. Um, we'll take a batch out of here. We'll pop it into that tower because that way, if we need deuterium anywhere else in the world or in the universe, galaxy, whatever. Um, it's available <clears throat> because we are now making it at a prodigious scale. Um, we're still draining the hydrogen fairly quickly, but we've got tons and tons of hydrogen to come in to make this up. Um, and this thing has backed up now completely. Because I guess we're not using the strange matter yet, so it makes sense. So, that is that horrendous array. I just think it looks cool with the power plants and stuff. I think even if I get better power, I'll keep using these because I like them. It just looks neat. Um, okay. That is one messed up pole. Um... I think I'm going to keep this quarter here that we didn't use for the uh, particle colliders. I think I'll keep that for towers for now. So the next thing that we've got to make is we got to make lenses now. Um, and I'm going to do my best to not forget to take this off the screen. Um, hopefully I remember and I don't just go start building everything on top. So if we look at lenses, we've got, yeah, we've got stuff, we've got all the way down here, we've got diamonds made in, in abundance, we've got strange matter made in abundance. So let's look at the recipe. So it's 12 diamonds and three strange matter gets us um, three lenses. So that's almost half a belt. So I would like to do this for a full belt of diamonds. Let's do that. So if we say, so if we calculate for a full belt of diamonds, so let's try seven and see how that looks. Uh, if we go recipe, that is a full belt of diamonds. So let's do that. Now, um, so yeah, so we've got a full belt of diamonds. We've got seven strange matter. We have so much extra strange matter. Oh my God. I did not realize how little we needed. Hopefully we need it for something else, because that's a lot of strange matter. I mean, otherwise we could up our diamond production significantly. Um, 
on the other planet, and particularly once we find things other than coal to make diamonds out of, we would be able to up that a lot. Um, but for the moment, we can't. And that's 42 factor. Holy jumping. Okay. So this is sounding like another ring around the planet. <laughs> we may just make another layer here. Um, okay. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Um, hey. Stay full screen. Um, yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, one of these days I should really start looking at uh, getting the level 3 uh, assemblers. We've got a fair bit of, of stuff now that we didn't have before once we started making the Forge World. Okay, so let's take that off the screen. Council. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah. Okay. So. Um, hmm. How do we want to arrange this? Well, what have we got on this planet? Where have we got some space? Where have we got real estate? We could do it right here. We've got real estate all the way around there. So just below all the stuff we've just made. Let's look at that. Let's look at the grids. So if we look at this neighborhood, we've got a fairly large grid here. We've got a five grid. Um... So, okay, so let's drop an assembler down and let's look, let's look at what we could do here. Uh, incidentally, what is that? Uh, we still haven't got the quantum chips going, so we still can't do that. Okay. So, let's look at this. Now, for lenses, we need just two items. Okay. Hello, autosave. So, um, if we got two items, and then we do the output on the outside, so let's, okay, let's, um, so one, two, three, four, five, so this is our center line, is in this one. So, if we go here, so that's our center. So if we go here and here, and then we do an assembler on each side. Oh, well, we're going to need to request some assemblers. We've only got four left. That's not going to get this done. Let's just do that real quick. I'm kind of making a I don't know. That was probably not the greatest placement. Let's do our mini mall here. Ugh, map. No, not map. Build. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on, drone. Okay. Now, this, we need some assemblers. We need... Let's say... 200. Remote demand. Um, and we're getting 600. Whatever. Okay. Now... Just want to get that started while we're waiting on this. So now we've got our output belts, and we're only getting 0.3 of an output belt, so we can share that easily. So if we do that, and that. Actually, you know, we could go back to the tower. We could save on towers here. Let's do that. 
Do that. Do that. And then here we can drop another assembler. And here we can drop an assembler. And then we got two belts in. And we got two belts in here. Now, that leaves us just enough that if we shifted, we could get one more row. And I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. So, alright. That's how we'll do it. Ooh. Wait a minute. Uh, we can't push on that because we've got random power poles that we kind of need. Um, you know what? Let's see. If if we can fit uh, if we can fit the power pole between the assemblers at this height. No, we can't. I was gonna say if we could fit it between the assemblers at that height, then we might get away with it, but. And actually, that's another thing we need to experiment with. So, is whether or not we can just run our assemblers straight along. Um, okay. So let's figure out uh, where we can put our tower. Because we're going to sit it right in between these guys. Um, is that the middle? Yes. Zoom in. Uh Okay. Yeah, we'll um we'll cheat down. Okay. So we've got item one out. Item two out. Come on. Stop it. Really annoys me when it does that. Okay. And then we've got Hey, this assembler. Then we've got our assemblers. We'll start them here. Um, I don't like to waste space, but I also don't like to uh Eh uh, I don't like to not have enough space. Alright, we should have lots of space on this tower, but I don't like to take the risk. Then we take another assembler here. And yeah. And we get our two items again. Wait one. Item two. And item one. And uh, eight. Two. And unfortunately, I mean, even though there's space here, I don't want to jump the grid. So, I think we're we're where we need to be. All right, let's build some belts. And we're probably going to need to build some landfill as well, because uh, that's going to be in the way. Lack of item. Where did I bring belts in? Did I bring belts here? Yep. Give me them all. It's one thing I never disparage having tons of on a planet is belts. And we're going to need to fill this in a bit. I'm not paving this whole planet, um, 
just to be different. I paved the last planet, so we'll not pave this one. Um, basically, I'm only paving where I have to. Uh, except on the homeworld. The homeworld needs to look like Earth, where we pave everything. Everything we can get our hands on, we put it concrete on it, so... I figure it's appropriate. There. And there. And my droid is standing on the end of that belt. Making it difficult to see. Uh, I think it's this one. Yep. I was right. No, 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 no. Hate it when I do that. Okay. Yeah, we get that belt there. And one more. Okay. Walk over here. Um, now let's throw some inserters on these things. Or sorters? Sorters. That's that is the official term. Okay. So in uh, in in and in. And then we'll go out on this end. Out on that end. Uh brain. Out here. Out here. And then these ones don't really matter, so just in and hey. Stop it. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, apparently I'm breaking the belt. Because I can't get a hold of the, uh, the sorter. Whatever. And... We're going to do it that way, because um, I don't want to wait. And so we'll do this one, the mirror image, because why not? Okay. Now. These things, they need a job. And that job is lenses. Paste that across. The other thing we need to figure out is power. And we fit power poles between them at this level. Because if we can't, we're in trouble. The outer ones will be okay. I can put them on the outside. There's room. But the inner ones, they're going to need a power pole. And we can. We're good. It's no problem. Excellent. Okay. So now, we just need 42 on each row. I don't think we're going to have enough diamonds to feed this. I think we're going to need to make more, but that's okay. <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right. Right, right, right. Nope. Not that tower. This tower? Yes. Give me... Oh, I don't know. Give me... 197. That'll work. Or 203. Whatever. And we'll turn that off. So I don't think we're going to want too many more. If any. We've got 400. That's enough to keep us going for a bit. Okay. Four. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. As long as these stay in line, then that'll be 20. And then this will be 20. And we ran out of sorters. <laughs> of course we did. We brought in a bunch of those, though. Okay. So we'll grab... I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll grab another th few hundred of them. Inventory's really filling up. I gotta get rid of these extra miners, thermal power stations and stuff. Twenty. Oh, those are going off grid. Hold on. Did we misalign these to start with? No. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Are they still going to go off grid, though? No, they seem to be staying on grid. Okay. Weird. That's bizarre. Alright, autosave. The autosave is getting really long. I wonder how big the save game is. How big is the save game these days? Um, we're only at 86 megs, give or take. 87 megs. It's not crazy. I've seen people with like half a gig or more in save games. So. Okay, so we've got nearly a quarter of the planet to, to, to get us to 20. Just under a quarter. So we're definitely going to need some more. So, these are going to go. Because they're in the way. And we're going to pave this, because it's going to be in the way. And I could use the one where we don't... Eh, I don't know. Maybe? We could, we could do no decoration. That's kind of neat. Where we cover the thing in ice. That's cool. We'll do that. Um, Alright. Not that we're going to see much of it. But belts. Um, let's go with that number. Let's see how that does. That might get us the close to what we need. We'll see how it goes. When you run belts like this, like long belts like this, it really takes the drones a long time. <laughs> Um, but, you know, it beats the hell out of laying it by hand. And at least while I'm, you know, while I'm setting up the next belt, the drones are doing something. It's not like I have to stand there, like, say, satisfactory and, you know, click each one or something. I think you have to click each one in Satisfactory, don't you? I don't know, it's been a while since I've watched a Satisfactory video. To be honest, I've never played it. Um, I've just watched a couple of the videos. Looks like fun, but then 
this came out. I, I was all set to pull trigger on Satisfactory, and then Dyson Sphere Project came out, and uh, I saw a video on it and went, nope, nope, that's what I'm playing. Forget Satisfactory. Dyson Sphere Project's what's going to take up my attention for a bit. Um, I was actually ready to start playing Rust, um, as I had that one on my radar for a while, and uh, then DSP just, nope, no, I need, I need to play that. That's that's what's going to be for me. Uh, so let's go here so we can get these belts finished faster. Come on, drones. Okay. That should be pretty well there by the time we get to it. Good. Okay. So. Twenty and two. Okay, that should take us all the way around now to forty two for each row. Um and like I say, we may not be able to feed this array, um, but I'm okay with that. You know, it's there when we're ready for it. It's uh, it's not going to cost us that much that we can't afford. Hey, what happened there? I hate it when you're holding down ultimate moves. So if you press alt and move the mouse at the same time, it doesn't lock in your start point right away. See, if we do alt and move, see how it, yeah. So you got to hit alt, give it a second to go into the, uh, the construction mode zero, copy inserters, um, and then you can start dragging. If you start dragging early, then it screws you all up. Okay, those look like way closer together than they should be. That's just weird. I think we may have more than 42 on the bottom row. Oh well, whatever. Is what it is. Shall we throw some power to these things? So if we do that and we do Alt, Technically, I don't need to be that close, but... Um, so let's space these out a bit. That looks pretty good. That's getting all the, uh... All the sorters. And then we drop these. Um, let's do it there. We're getting a little out of line, and I don't want to get too crazy. How far apart are we going? Three machines. Okay. Where'd the last one go? And I see occasionally you can end up with broken sorters. Where it does weird stuff. Maybe it's just because these aren't built yet. It may have built the sorter, but not the machine, and that's why it's showing broken. Okay. There. Okay. And now we'll build again on the bottom row. And that will hopefully cover our whole array with power. I think it will. Let's see. Yep, looks like it will. Okay. And then we can cut these belts off. Get rid of those. Okay. All right.
Now, we need strange matter. That will be a local demand. And we need diamonds. That will be a remote demand. And, well, everything's starting to light up with strange matter. Um, and let's give this some ships. Um, give it some ships of its own. Uh, we're going to need to get ships. I mean, we could just belt it over from there, but... And we may. We may do that. Oh, wait, no. Ships are over here. This planet is not the most organized for stuff like this. Um, but it'll get there. Or it won't. I mean, I may not use this planet for much after this. We'll see. Once we go interstellar, we're a whole different bottle ball game. Okay, we've got ships now. Turn the charging rate up. Ooh, transport range of drones. Sure, we'll give them all the room that they want. Um, and I guess if we put a power pole on it, it would actually charge the tower, right? Okay. Let's juice that up. Now those ships are off. Get diamonds. Good. Good, good, good. Do you think I'm carrying enough towers on me? I think I need to drop some of these off. <laughs> I think I'm carrying enough towers for a couple more planets. Um, I think I'm carrying enough towers to finish the Forge world. Okay, come on. I want to see lenses come out. Now, how are we doing for time here? Um, I think once this gets going and we see our lenses come back, uh, we'll probably... Here they go. They're coming back. We're getting lenses. I suppose I should put the lenses in the tower, right? That would that would be a good plan. There we go. I see lenses going in. Why is the number not going up? Oh. What? Whoops. Wow, that'd be a problem. Guess we'll need to clean that belt up. Um, strange matter, please. <laughs> Whoops. I was like, why is the tower not filling up with lenses? I don't understand. Oh, yeah, because you're filtering right back out onto the belt. Durr. Come on, Drizzit. There we go. Now we're getting strange matter all the way down to the end. Diamonds are flowing. But not there. Missed a belt. Okay, that's easy. That's an easy fix. I am totally okay with problems that are this easy to fix. Holy lenses, Batman. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We got lenses all right. Um, I don't know if our diamond supply is good enough yet. I mean, we did have 10,000 of them sitting in the tower that's feeding this. So, you know, at 6,000 a trip, it's going to take a little while before this whole thing stabilizes and we find out how it runs. But if we need to make more diamonds, we'll just make more diamonds. Frankly, we don't need this many lenses right now either. I mean, this is, this is a stupid amount of warbers and green science um, when we're ready for both. So, I think we're okay. But the array is working. We're getting lenses back from the whole thing. Um, other than the ones that haven't got diamonds yet. Or that are pissed off that they still don't have, that they don't have diamonds at the moment. Let's make sure we don't have any breaks in that middle row. I don't think we will. No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like we're just out of diamonds for now. Oh, we're getting 10,200 coming in. Nice. Um, 
we should probably increase this load for the drones. Frankly, I should just belt the science over the, the the strange matter over. This is a huge energy expenditure for basically nothing. Um, for the cost of a couple of belts and and a really easy belt run. Okay, okay, we'll go around because uh, it looked like we had room there, but apparently we don't. <laughs> There's no open belt hole there. That's fine. That's fine. We'll still leave them on local demand just because, but it should stay quite full. And the Strange Matter array is working again. We're getting more diamonds in. We're getting more. They're shooting down the line. They're getting eaten, but they're coming down the line. And the strange matter is going. And the fractionators are going. Look at all of this. This is madness. I love it. Deuterium flowing like crazy. We're still pulling it in on uh, on ships as well, but we could almost turn that off. But I just don't want to risk running out because we are we are when everything's in full swing. We are using the deuterium faster than the fractionators are making it. Which just blows my mind. Like how... how? <laughs> We've got two rings of fractionators all the way around the pole. How? <laughs> how are we sucking it back faster than we can supply it? I mean, even the hydrogen is flowing in almost non-stop to the fractionators to keep them topped up. This is nuts. At least this one's backing up a bit? But these ones... The hydrogen barely backs up at all. <laughs> this is madness. This is madness and I love it. Um, yeah. I mean, okay, so the strange matter is not full. We're gonna, we still got no strange matter here. <laughs> We're pulling in deuterium from off planet still. That's not enough fractionators for this many particle colliders for two rows of 42 particle colliders, so 84 particle colliders. That's a lot of deuterium. Um, yeah. Well, that's a thing. Hey, while we're here, and we've got access to things like deuterium and stuff, um... Do I have any more of these uh, power plants on me? No. Where did I request them? It wasn't here, was it? No, it was here. I think it was here. Um, I just want one. I just want to see if I feed these deuterium directly if they turn on. Because I'm thinking I could just feed the fractionators into it. For, for fun. For funsies. Where'd you go? No. So that's got to go to a thermal plant. That's okay. I was just seeing if I could. Um, okay. 
And how did I end up with diamonds on me? Let's go drop those diamonds in here. Because I don't need them. <laughs> and apparently I have strange matter on me. Don't need that either. Um, anything else I can get rid of here? I don't think so. Wait. Yep. I can get rid of these here. Cool. Um, I think that's all I can get rid of for now. I've got to drop all these fractionators off back on the home world. I don't want to leave them in a tower here. I mean, we might need more, but I'm concerned that we might actually exceed our hydrogen output at this point with this many of them. It's, it's a possibility. I mean, theoretically it still shows that we're going to be maxed out, but I don't know how much of that's... Like, we've got a ton in buffer storage back on the homeworld, so that could be what that's about. I'm just enjoying seeing all of this rut. This is neat. I like this. Okay, what's the product stacking? Okay. Product stacking is a good problem. Uh, lack of diamonds. Okay. Are they still... Yep, they're still working their way down. Um, it's just the first row that's product stacking. Weird. Why are you product stack? Uh, I bet you the inserters are broken. Ah, <sighs> joy. Yeah, the first row. Sometimes this happens with the copy and paste inserters. The first row appears to have been broken. So, um, well, I think that's it for this episode. I'm going to fix that um, off camera because you guys don't need to see me delete and reinstall a bunch of inserters. 42 of them to be precise um, and uh, we'll do this again shortly um, with the next episode when we finally get warpers and we go interstellar alright guys uh, thanks for watching leave a comment, leave a like subscribe, all that good stuff don't forget man, helps the channel, helps me if, uh, I mean if nobody watches this then maybe I won't bother recording it, but that you know, I'm enjoying making the videos for now. Um, so if you guys are enjoying watching them, let me know. Uh, talk to you later. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And try not to have too much fun. Thanks. Bye.